Hey guys, this video is going to show you how I made my dress for Holo. So first I started by folding my knit fabric that you can see here and cutting out the shirt pattern. So what I did was separated the pattern into a shirt and a skirt. So I ended up making two of these and I pinned them at the sides and the shoulders where they will needed to be sewn. Then I moved on to actually sewing them at the sides and the shoulder to make the full t-shirt and what I do is sew them right sides together so the wrong sides are facing me and then I'll flip them inside out. After I sewed them together I made a basting stitch all around the v-neck which is just a very long straight stitch to hold the collar in place before I went in and cut the little V. This makes it super easy to add the collar later on. And I made the collar out of a similar knit fabric in this dark green. So I just made it as long as the collar itself and as wide as I wanted it to be. So I just cut that out into a long strip and folded it over halfway and ironed it. I'm using my t-shirt as a presser cloth in this just because I was a little weary about ironing knit. You know, make sure you check the instructions on the fabric you buy because it will tell you what to iron it at temperature wise but I was just being careful and then I folded it over to make it look like that v-neck pinned it in place and sewed it together so to attach the collar to the v-neck area I'm putting it right side to right side of my shirt so then when I go to sew it down I can flip it up and it will show the right side of the collar. And I'm just using a zigzag stitch all the way around and stretching it as I go to make sure everything lines up properly. After it was all sewed together, I ironed the collar down so it would lay a little bit flatter again using my old t-shirt as a presser cloth. And to make it lay even flatter, I decided to top stitch it down. So I'm just using a thread matching the shirt color and going right just a little bit less than a half an inch underneath the collar so it gets everything to stay down properly. Then I moved on to cutting out the long sleeves. And as you can see, my cat Eve really likes to intrude while I'm sewing. So she was my sewing buddy. And how I do this is the same way as I did making my shirt. I fold the fabric in half so it makes a complete sleeve. And then I just sew the sleeve all the way together. It's hard to explain how I attached the sleeves to the shirt, but I turned my shirt inside out and put the right side of the sleeve to the right side of the shirt and did a zigzag stitch all the way around. This was really hard because the fabric is a little tough, but I got it to work. Then I made a band similarly to how I made my collar for my arm cuffs and pinned it all the way around, sewing it down the exact same way I did my collar. Of course, this is a little bit of a tighter sew, so it was a little hard to get around my machine, but it worked out well. Then I moved down to my circle skirt. Disregard this pattern because I ended up not having the correct pattern for my waist size but this is generally what circle skirts will look like so you fold the fabric four ways and it will look like a giant donut and you just cut it down the middle and again I created the trim the exact same way I created my collar and my arm cuff so I just made very long strips the same length as the bottom of my skirt out of the knit fabric I was using for the cuffs and the collar. I think the skirt bottom ended up being like 160 something inches so I cut out a lot of fabric and I didn't have enough fabric every way so I had to make one long strip by pinning them all together. The actual process of sewing the trim onto the dress took forever and it was a very long, long skirt as you can see it piling up behind my machine, but it looked very, very pretty at the end. And lastly, I am just sewing that cut that I made in the middle of the skirt to make the skirt conjoined again. Then I sewed the skirt to the shirt and voila, we have a dress. So then it was time to make her green waistband. And I made it the exact same way that I made my trim, but just with this kind of lime green cotton fabric. So I cut out the strips and I sewed all the sides together on them, but one so I can then flip it inside out. Pro tip, 
if you cut the corners, it will make it so much easier for you to flip it inside out and get those corners coming out okay. So I just flip it inside out and then I go to iron it, to flatten it, making it easier to sew everything together. Then I just sew everything closed and voila, once I sew them together to one long strip, it makes this nice waistband. I didn't end up doing any footage of making the ball, but I just used a styrofoam ball with a one inch hole down the middle, primed with five layers of Mod Podge and spray painted red. It's not the best ball, but it works from a distance. And that's it. That's how I made my dress. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.